Last evening, Parliament finally passed the Markets Bill 2021. The bill was tabled by Workers MP Margaret Rabshaija. If one wants to, to start a private market, individual market, it's also catered for. But he must also report to the authorities that what uh, the intention he, that he's starting a market. The legislation seeks to replace the 1942 Act, which mainly focused on public markets, leaving out the private ones. The objectives of the bill are to reform the law relating to establishment and control of markets in Uganda, to provide for establishment and management of public and private markets, licensing of private markets, committees for all markets and designation of market departments, and provide for registration of markets and vendors. Well, to me, it's a long overdue. They ought to have enacted such a legislation long, long time ago. When they are passing that bill, do they come on the ground to consult these stakeholders? That is the issue. Because there might have been other things, useful suggestions from these vendors. The bill also lays out restrictions on political leaders owning market stalls. If they want, they are despite let them have one store. But I don't expect the LOC5 also to have a store. People from the government, who are in the government, who are rich, own stalls in the market. So when they own stalls in the market, they are not going to come to work on those stalls. They will rent them out. However, Kampala Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago maintains that KCCA will continue pursuing its market ordinance in line with the new bill to accommodate more roles for the vendors in the market administration. As long as we don't depart from the primary provisions of that parent law, we are going to see how we are going to broaden that to bring in that critical element of the, the voice of the vendors. Of the 84 markets in Kampala, 68 are privately owned. Only 16 are public. Ali Mivole, NTV.